So, latex and porridge oats. If you don't happen to have a handy prosthetic around, or you don't have a little bit of scab, um, you can create a scabby burnt nose. I don't know if you've seen when people suffer with a very bad burnt nose or allergic reaction. Hello, Seventa. Hello, everyone. Uh, you get a, a very, very, very prominent scabby burnt nose. So that's what we're going to do today. We are going to do um, a bit of old fashioned latex and oats. Um, I love visiting old techniques because it really, my God, la, la diva riva, hello, darling. So latex and porridge oats, we're going, we're going old school people today. We are going old school because why not? Let's go old school. By the way, um, um, I don't know if you all did see my interview I did with Theo Salisbury the other day. It's live on my Instagram uh, and it's going to be live from the Seventa Makeup Academy page. I'm going to be doing a series of interviews in the next, basically throughout the month. Um, I'm about to ask La Diva Riva, who's actually joined us on, um, on Instagram. I'm going to ask if she will join us for these interviews and various other artists. I've got Lars Carson. I've got Gemma Horner from Caroline. I've got Olivia Gerard, I've got Monanut, Montanut Turnbull or Mona Turnbull, I've got loads of people. Uh, so keep tuned in, it's going to be at 1 o'clock weekdays and uh, I've just published my schedule for this and next week so have a look. Right, latex porridge oats, very old school, I'm loving a bit of old school today. I'm feeling very, um, with my kind of 90s, 90s quiff, 90s hair. Right. Oh my god, this lovely. Oh, Kirsty, she's gonna also be gonna make well there's Kirsty, gorgeous Kirsty Graham, um, makeup artist, creator, 3D effects artist. She's also gonna be one of the people I'm about to ask to join me this month for a lovely talk. Uh, the talk with Thea was a big success, so I want to keep these going. So today we are latex porridge oats. Um again, out of kit beginners, you find yourself without a prosthetic. You find yourself without some um, Ben Nye scab or any other scab, so we go and create it. So you will need a hairdryer and you will need your latex. I'm using the Meron white, which actually goes clear latex. I don't want fresh flesh because I'm going to be um, I'm going to be uh, colouring it. So generous layer all over the nose. A bit whiffy. By the way, if you haven't patch tested, I mean I've been using latex to a lot of demos, so patch test yourself, please. Okay. So here's my porridge oat. Now you might need a few layers, people. Oh bugger it, let's go under the eye, why not? Are you using large oats? No, you see, I'm using small ones and I wish I was using large ones because this is a fiddly buggery pain in the bum. So I recommend the large ones. I didn't have any large ones. So I'm actually using instant oats, people. I'm making do with what I have at home. So this is all about making do, making do. Gonna have a lovely scabby burnt out nose. So if you're using these small ones, just go around and pick up the ones that are slightly larger. You could do this with a pair of tweezers, but I simply don't have the time. So 
very gently you're going to have to keep adding layers of latex so the oats don't fall down okay but again keep looking at your edges make sure your edges are really lovely and thin and sort of smoothed out remember that what we said about the, the sort of curve the gradient down Yeah, you see, these oats are very small and very fiddly and very annoying. I'll show you one. See, it's falling down. Oh, right, here we go. I don't know if you can see that, but it's tiny. And I just dropped it. Juan, lovely Juan Lopez. I've got a talk with Juan next week. Juan, are you better? Juan's been laid down um, with a poorly back. Now, one thing I will say to you is do not coat the oat with latex and try to put it on latex because it's going to try to separate. Juan is in bed. Well, hopefully you'll be better next week. If not, you'll be doing the talk from your bed. We are all sending you. Please send Juan lots of healing hopes, healing vibes. I think he injured his back the other day. You're having phone issues. Don't worry, Angie. Now, for those of you, I used to see these kind of burns a lot in, in men of a certain age in villages when they had been exposed to severe burns, se severe nose burns by sun and sunburns and this, their, their nose had um, scarred really badly, healed very badly with scabs. So I used to see this a lot in, in the little villages in Spain. Juan, do you remember that? I don't know if you saw these men with really bad scabby noses. Now, as we're talking latex and we're talking food, let's talk about allergies. Um, it's very rare that someone will have an allergy to oats, but do check, because obviously you're, you're using uh, food stuff. Oh, Lars Carson, I've got a lovely interview with Lars Carson next week. So join me, it's Friday at 1 p.m. with Lars. Lars, we're going old fashioned today. We're going latex, melon latex and oats. We said if we don't have a prosthetic and we don't have fresh scab, we're going old fashioned. We're doing that severe nose burn with scabs. So the trait at the moment just looks an absolute disaster. But when you start doing your colour, old fashioned always works. Absolutely. So Lars, this is my beginners out of uh, lockdown series. So this is all very much out of kit beginners. What we, This is my Meron Ben Nye kit from Treasure House with a little bit of Mold Life. So Meron and Ben Nye from Treasure House with my Delian brushes because all my kit is in the studio at Seventa. So we are doing an out of kit series. I've been doing it since the lockdown. So Lars will be joining us for a lovely talk. So will Juan. So will hopefully Kirsty when I ask her, because I'm about to ask her this afternoon. And another Ladiva makeup artist who's fabulous. And you're going to meet her. She's very glamorous, very glamorous. Now, there we go. Now I want you to now cover the whole thing. Oh my God, Stephanie, 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 gorgeous soprano Stephanie has just joined. I have not seen Stephanie for years. I hope you're safe, Stephanie, and keeping happy. Fabulous model, Keelan McClafferty has just joined. Hello, Keelan. You can see Keelan in a lot of my, in a lot of my work. Right, that's enough.
let's get it dried up now. Now it should feel quite hard because you need to be able to paint over it, okay? Okay, that's lovely and dry. That's me with my 90s quiff. Right, so as you can see, okay? This is old school. This is this is 1950s, 1960s latex and oats, people. Out of kit, no prosthetics. You can see how much little latex I've got left. Not much. I didn't use much. Uh, I'm now going to put that away. I don't want any more oats. So my advice, use bigger oats. <laughs> Unfortunately, I didn't have bigger oats, so I've got to use what I had. Okay, now to paint, we're all about Burnt Coral by Ben Nye, you can find it in this palette, Ben Nye Essential Effects palette, Burnt Coral, or I've got some in my little pot, my singles, I love this one, you can tell I love it so much because look how little I've got left. Burnt Coral, and then we're going to use my Pro Ring, Pro Coloring by Meron in SFX, my, my Bruce Pro Coloring. Lid, brushes, spray. So this, for those of you who joined, this is a beginner's lockdown series I've been doing for, God, I don't know how many I've done now, but I think I'm on the um, 14th, 15th, 16th episode. Um... We've been doing these every week just to keep people. It's out of kit beginners, and today's all about latex and porridge oats. So we start with a fine, very, very smooth, tiny layer of burnt coral. I water it down with alcohol. So just keep very gently stippling. And as you know, I like a bit of yellow in my burns. So we'll do a little bit of yellow. Because it just blends it in. You see, you just bring the undertones in slightly. And it doesn't matter if you go over the porridge oats because you're going to um, you're going to be um, colouring anyway. Just taking a bit of extra colour away that I didn't want. Okay. Now we're going to go from this. It's called burnt maroon. It's this one here, burnt maroon. Okay. I'm using my Delium Thomas Supernum brush 156. Now you're going to have to be quite generous with this colour. I'll tell you why in a minute because you're painting a 
grease over a slippery surface, which is the latex, and the colour might want to slip a bit, especially when you've watered it down. So be quite generous. In fact, I'm actually going to go with a smaller brush. I'm doing my 153 Delian Thomas Supernum brush. Let's have a look. So I'm still using my watered down colours. Okay. You can see. So you just need to keep taking shape. And can we see a little scabs beginning to form? Now, don't just paint all over, just turn a stipple. You'd be quite random with your painting because scabs are never uniform, okay? Okay, that's why I'm just showing you the progress. And you know, if you leave a bit of lighter, that's absolutely fine. Because scabs do. Now we will be adding a 3D effect in a minute, although they are already 3D because if you saw them up close. So what I'm doing is I'm also going under the scab. Can you see I'm going under? Very important to go under the scab as well because you're trying to create that shadow Like so. Can we see? Now at the moment they're a little bit, they're a little, little bit bright for my liking so I'm going to darken them a little bit I'm going to add some black into my brown mix That's better. That's a much nicer colour. Fresh, scab, bright, horrid. Ugh. So now, we just want to add a bit of more of the burnt around. So I get my gorgeous toothbrush. Again, Delium Tools 110 by Thomas Supernote. I'm mixing my burnt burgundy type color, burgundy color, plus I'm adding a bit of yellow.
Okay, so that's a bit too yellow for my liking, so let's take some yellow away. Better. And now we add, so can we see what we're doing? They look lovely and juicy, you just want to pick one up and eat them, don't you? Who's with me at the moment? Let's have a look. Oh, I've got some gorgeous people watching, gorgeous people. And now we're going to add a little bit of that bright red to the scab, because I now want to lift it. So I'm going for my, what is it? Uh -huh. Fresh cut, it's that one. Ben Nye, fresh cut. So make sure you clean your lid. And that's the colour you're getting, much brighter. Not all of them. And that's a bit too much for me. So I'm now going to take it back a bit again. And there we go. Are we happy with that? I think we are. Let me give that a quick tidy up. I'm going to add a little bit of the brown again. Too bright, too dark. That was too dark. You see, too dark. So we need to just dilute that. I'm adding some kind of detailing underneath just to make it pop see and we just literally keep you just want to create that kind of detail really don't forget about the other side Okay, please don't forget about the other side. And think about how you, these things are going to be viewed. And you could... I've got that quite light one there. It's better. There you go. And you could add a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of blood just underneath. I'm using Meron coagulated blood. And I am talking minuscule, okay? I'm talking that much. And then we just do that. That didn't work.
and then we just tidy that up and there we have it there we got burnt scabby can you see the scabs can you see them you really want to pick them up and eat them that's how they should feel it's like you really want to do that when you're I mean, I don't eat my own scabs, by the way, but I'm just telling you that it's the kind of thing you just want to scratch out. Okay, I think that's about it. Nice, easy, old-fashioned. Make sure the rest of the nose is burned, please. Yeah, like that. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining me once again. I hope you've had a lovely time. I've had a lovely time, as always. Products today. Meron Latex. Bruce Wheel by Ben Nye Pro Colouring. Ben Nye Palette in SFX. I used Burnt Coral, Fresh Scab and Black. My Delian brushes, my wax tools, my alcohol. Everything available from oh, Treasure House of Makeup. I teach a lot of these courses at Seventy Makeup Academy. They are beginners courses and out of kit and casualty effects. There we go.